Hello, anybody. I am Alpac Patrol, and this is Age of Wonders 3. That's right. I'm back to another episode of Age of Wonders 3. How's it going, everybody? Actually, you know what I just realized is I never saved the game from last time, so let me just do that real quick. If you don't mind, I know, unprofessional. I should just restart the video. Doesn't matter. It's fine. You guys are okay with it. It only takes a second. So, I wanted to scout over here to see if, uh, now that that giant's dead, now that we killed that giant, how are you guys feeling? Oh, tell me more about this quest. End the undead scourge. Sure. It's very easy. And then uh, and then the city of Wazanoth joins our empire. Okay. So where's the undead scourge? Are you the undead scourge? Who are you? High elf unicorn rider? It's over here? I don't get it. The walking dead of the night guard is panicking. Society is where please slay these uh, horrors and blah blah blah. I don't see him there though. <sighs> Center. This is where it is. Supposedly. Okay, let's walk over there and see if I... Ah, there they are. Those aren't the undead. Maybe I'm supposed to just, like, go over here? Yeah, very likely victory. Alright. Let's do it! I don't know, I don't know where these undead scourge are. I, I, I assume maybe I gotta kill these dwarves? I don't think the dwarves are undead. Maybe they'll become undead after I kill them. But maybe, maybe they're just showing me the watchtower so that I know where the undead are? I, I have no idea. Don't throw stones at me like a jerk. What a jerk bag. Who does that? Who throws stones? Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Alright, so we have, uh, things. Actually, we're out of casting points. Right, because we done been using them. Um, hmm. Well, we can't actually... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking, like, well, we could try to do the one thing where the other thing happens in the blah, 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 and the who's and what's it, and the wow, 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 wee, wow. Uh, actually, Goral has a little bit of health. She's got a small amount of health. So we should probably hit these guys first. Yeah. Bust these guys up a bit. It's good. Two to four. If we get real lucky... Damn it. That's a bummer. Well, maybe we can get a shot off here? Oh, we can! Amazing! Awesome. Okay, I want to get Goral up over here. I want her to fire your musket. Ooh, the deeps! The deeps are real. 33 damage. That's crazy. Alright. And we'll basically just take a shot of stones from these guys, I'm sure, is what they're going to do. I don't know. Maybe they're just going to fight us. No, they're going to throw stones at somebody else. Ah, oh, flanking. Oh, they're going to flank Goral. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, that's interesting. But! So we have a line of sight penalty. Well, we're still going to have the line of sight penalty, but at least we don't have the range penalty on our shot, so that's good. Get up closer. Still have line of sight and range penalty, but that's okay. We'll just do that. Okay. So they have five health. We get Goral over there. Mm, no, we can't. Yeah, we kill him with this guy, so. Oh, they have first strike. Shit. I'm glad I realized that later. <laughs> so, could have lost uh, a trooper by doing that. Should have read that they had first strike. That's okay. It's fine. <sighs> okay, do we do we succeed in the thing or what happened? Wizard hunters, uh, we have six points. Throw net. Attempts to ensnare target enemy in a net and staring units cannot take any action. E.g. move, attack, retaliate for two turns. Intriguing. Um, inflict immolation. Yeah, that sounds real good, honestly. I'm gonna get the immolation. 
infliction. Okay, so are you the undead? Who wants me to get out of your domain? Do I just have to, like, search for the undead? Like, where... <laughs> I don't get it, man. Well, we've captured this watchtower at least, so now we know... We see a surrounding area. Mythical treasure! Oh, dude, that seems awesome. Get out of my domain. Why? Okay, we got a temple there, that's good. Alright, let's end the turn. Uh, the dwelling of Gan Parisan has a quest. Well, they, uh, <laughs> they don't got a quest for us. Oh, no! What is this? Undeads! Ah! Good! Good, good! Maybe this will succeed and then we'll get uh, Wesenoth in our, in our, uh, in our hegemony. I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. Hopefully. Oh, right! Yeah, they attacked us, so we get to attack first. Awesome! Okay. Uh, we got a weapon kit. And we have all the casting points we need, but... It's Revenant Infantry. Um, well, let's probably get up close and personal and... Shoot him with the bow and arrow. Out of range. That's a bummer. I don't know why it always puts the archers behind my army. Maybe I should really look into what, um... What it actually does. Like, the, the order in which it, it puts your army in an area. Does that make sense? Okay. Goral, come over here. I want you to shoot him. Really? Okay, did 29 damage and they're immolated. Oh, butts. Oh, good. Okay. Get these guys up here to defend Goral. See what these guys decide to do? They took 4 damage. They're gonna attack Goral. I oh, know they're gonna attack the Hellhounds. It's alright. Okay, murdered those guys. Which is sweet. And then we could just bust these guys up like so. They've got projectile resistance, but it don't matter. Because we're just going to murder them. We're going to murder them up dead. Like they deserve. Uh, he's got nine health. I guess we just kill him, right? Yeah. Boom. Okay. Crisis averted. Yes. I think so. I completed a quest. Yes. The city of Wastanoth joins my empire. We get a High Elf Swordsman. That sounds great. Cool. So did you give me the High Elf Swordsman? Where's the High Elf Swordsman? Is it just this thing? Oh, okay. So we can build High Elf things now. We should probably build some defenses. Is what I'm going to do. And then after that, we'll probably build a Dreadnought's Foundry. Cool. Ooh, the city of Bingham. Yeah. Nice. What is this? Oh yeah, you're my uh, you're my ally, right? Or is that an enemy? It's the army of Sarados. How do I go to diplomacy? Oh, the army. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, we're losing some happiness, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Slightly evil. Affects my relations with other factions. I just want to see diplomacy. Here we go, diplomacy menu. Saradas. Yeah, we're at peace with him. That's, that's what I thought. So, I don't know what that means. Does that mean that, like, I'm allies? Can I ally you? What happens if I have an offer to make you? What would you do for an alliance? All 
All right. I think we just got an alliance. I'm with it. They're my friends. All right, so there's strong ancient ruins here. I guess let's fucking fight it. Why not? Let's go bust up some boars, boys. Sounds good to me. And they're probably not going to lose us any man, right? Let's put it on auto combat. Again, like the easy battles, it's nice to sit back, do the auto combat, let the let the game play itself a little bit. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. There's whatever those things are. Ogres. Okay, well, clearly, we need to deal with this. So we have a line of sight penalty. Could get a curse going. I should honestly get a curse on this guy. What is your chance to hit? Animal Slayer, 26 to 38. We might just straight up kill this thing. Nah, we didn't, but that's okay. We could kill him with this. I'm gonna range penalty. Or we could kill him with this, which is probably more sensical. And then we should just get a, we should honestly just get, try to get a curse on him. It's a 50% chance, but we might get it. Yeah, we did get the curse, which is sweet. Uh, which means that we can probably get away with doing this. Now uh, we get the range penalty. What happens if we get just a little bit closer? Oh yeah. 40 damage! Oh my goodness. That's wonderful. What are these guys? Crossbowmen. Alright, come over here, crossbowmen. Oh, we could hit him. Okay, uh, two to four. How much damage can we do? Not enough to kill. So we should probably just get on this guy. And then, honestly, I think I'm just gonna go over here to defend my musketmen because I like them. I don't like them a lot. And these ogres, I don't know how much deeps they can put out, but probably a lot. Jeez, those guys did a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's still going after my musketman. Which is unfortunate. And I assume these guys can't fire again. No, yeah, they can't. Can't use ability for one turn. What is this? Oh, my dwarven crossbowman. I wonder if curse stacks. You think it does? He's cursed, right? Hmm. It probably doesn't stack, all things considered. So we should just get this. Yeah. Get a kill going there. They'll do a lot of damage to me, but that's okay. Because we get a flame. Yeah, we killed him. Glorious! Defeated the ogres! And we didn't even lose anybody, so that's cool. Took some damage, but... And we get sweet Wicked Leather Harlot. Nice. What does this do? Plus one defense, plus one uh, resistance. Oh, it's uh, it goes over that. Okay, I guess we'll just put it over there. Hmm. Honestly, the um, defense is nice, but that's probably better. Although that's strong, so that's... I don't know, this seems, this seems better. I mean, resistances versus all those magics versus one overall defense so I just because I don't know how much defense counts unless that's like a base stat where it's just like if I do 15 damage and you have like one defense then I'll do 14 damage which you know is actually a, a pretty likely possibility is there a way to actually look that up in here yeah Tome of Wonders oh uh, there's no search see that's oh maybe there is yes okay defense uh, defense and resistance. Okay, defense and resistance, how much you enabled with stats? Blah, 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 blah. Da damage, 10 plus physical strength minus defense. Non-physical strength minus resistance. Right, okay. Status effect. Physical strength minus defense times 5%. Okay, so like if he has like a bleedy thing, then... Yeah, so it does seem to be, like, a direct thing. So that makes me wonder, then, uh, whether it would be better. Because that's just, like, one... And that's one overall resistance, too. 
The question is, is one overall resistance better than 40% resistance? So, like, say they do... I mean, what are they doing? They're doing, like, 5 fire damage. Probably. Say, like, 5 fire damage. So, no, that does, that does more, but it does give me better physical defense. Reduces their attacks by 1. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But what I do want to know is what this looks like. What this town is like. Maybe I should have gone that way. Hmm. Alright. So cool, we actually have a new town here, which is kind of sweet. What is this? Three of these guys. Three of these fellas here. Oh, and we can come around the other side. Yes. Yes! Oh, and it's an, it's an inn? Okay, yes, that's what we're doing. That is just straight up what we are doing. You guys just camp out here. Uh, the main invasion here. Independent army. Well, I mean, we have civ uh, we have uh, defenses here. Here, not so much. And then uh, we're gonna see whether this guy wants to accept my alliance proposal. Summon Hellhound is ready to cast. Nice. Oh, what happened? I hear lasers again. I don't like it when I hear lasers. What is this? What the hell is that? Is a griffin? It's kind of sweet. It's dedicated to good. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Alright. You. Come over here. We're already at war with these jerks. I want to see... Can we see what they have in there? Okay, so they have five, and oh god, they do have a titan. <sighs> and the revenant infantry. So it's all revenant infantry plus the titan. The question is... Yeah, we can actually get into the mountains. Just wait there for now. Select a skill to research. So we got uh, Invention 3, which is nice. We get Invention 4 if we want. Uh, banish a summoned unit. So that does single target damage. Which might be handy. Like a lot of single target damage. That probably is going to be handy, actually. Um, ooh, Hellhound only takes one turn now. Nice! Okay, armor requires my orders. Uh, you guys camp there. He declined my proposal. What a d-hole. Okay. So we're getting ready. Handle hero joint offer. Yes! Accept, please! The Monster Slayer, level 5 Warlord, sure. Awesome. We can get you a Shock Trooper. What else can we give you? Orc Impalers? Eh, give you a Hellhound. How close are we to uh, this place? Uh, it'll take us a long time. Five turns. We don't have time for five turns, honestly. Oh, we can cast another Summon Hellhound. Nice. Right, yeah, we should just get as many as we can. Um, so we just have to wait, because I want you guys to get in there. You guys just wait. You wait, too. The main invasion here. There's three men in there. Ah, there's a camp. Alright, so that's actually what you're going to go do. We're going to go deal with this camp. Come handle this! And let's see what happens here. I hope they don't sally out to fight us. Oh boy. I am very afraid of this. Uh, I'm very afraid of this battle. Now, what I assume... Is that if I fight him...
I don't know why I couldn't... I guess he needs a hero. So now I assume that if I fight him right now, then he'll join in too. But perhaps I should get some more Hellhounds, or spy drones, or something. It's like a skill to research. So we have Fireball as well, which is pretty sweet. Reassemble. Instantly resembles blah blah blah, yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, Global Design Cell, Battlefield Enchantment, Silent Refines the Process Factories, make machine units. Uh, you know, we don't have many machine units, we just have the Spy Drone. Uh. I don't know. Let's get invention. Production for Hulfa. Oh! We could get flame tanks! Dude, we could get like a couple flame tanks in this battle. That's what I want. I think we're gonna wait out the flame tanks. Oh, and musketeers. Can I hurry this production? Cost 50 gold. Wait, what? Why can't we do it? Oh, it costs 140 gold. Okay. 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 You just chill. Why don't we get the musketeer to join your army and then I don't know a marauder and then one of these guys a blight doctor there we go okay now go towards this area okay we're preparing for war which is scary to me. Now, I hope that they don't attack us before we get our flame tanks out. Because I would really like to get some flame tanks going. That would be my... Uh, that'd be my, my preferred move, is to get these flame tanks. Yeah. It's J, J, J. Ace berries. Oh, what? Where are you? Uh, fine. I'll go kill them then. I was gonna kill the camp, but I'll just kill these guys instead. That sounds good to me. All right. Uh, let me just auto combat this one. I don't mind auto combating in this. I think we'll be okay. Ooh, <sighs> jeez. Alright. Hellhounds, don't die. Musketeers, oh my god, with the 30 deeps. It's just crazy. Doing more on the poison bolts, I like it, I like it. Oh, and our shock troopers. Oh, they're such ballers. See, the problem is we don't actually have that many good, like, high tier units in that army to take out that giant city. That's my main issue with it. Like, if I could get shock troopers in there, too. I think we got, like, uh, one pack of musketeers and some other stuff, maybe. Ah, this guy should be able to handle it. There we go. Victory. Victory achieved. I'm alright with that. Okay, cool. And, uh, can you move anymore? You can, actually. Come over here. An army requires my orders, apparently. And, uh, yeah. So, we have this city surrounded. I wish there was something that we could do to weaken that titan before we go into battle. Ugh, it's the army leader, too. He's so strong. We're gonna lose a lot of men in this battle. Like, that shit's just gonna happen. That is just straight up gonna happen. Yeah, we have musketeers, we have a lot of hellhounds. Like, way too many hellhounds, if you ask me. But, 
you know, we can use them as throwaway units, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been Age of Wonders 3. I love you all, you beautiful people. In the next episode, we're probably going to get some flame tanks out and then deal with this, this kingdom of undead people and murder them up real good. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.